Ever wish you could peer into a crystal ball and see if an airfare will go up or down before you buy? Well, a few new online tools promise to do something close to that. WSJ's middle seat columnist Scott McCartney tried a few out and joins us to tell us if they work. Hi, Scott. Great to see you. Great to be with you, Tanya. So I tell you, the uncertainty of which way airfares are going has certainly kept me from pulling the trigger a few times. Which forecasting search engines did you try out, Scott? So uh, there's an app called Hopper, um, which has a very sophisticated prediction uh, engine with it. And, uh, and so I tried that. Uh, Kayak has been doing this for a while and, uh, and says it's getting better at it. Um, Google, uh, Google Flights is getting into this. Um, they've announced it. Uh, I looked hard for examples where where you could find it and, and didn't. Uh, Google sent me a couple, um, they, so they're they're rolling it out. Um, but I think that'll be helpful. And, and then there, there's an interesting one behind the scenes. It's a it's a business to business company called Flyer F L Y R, uh, and and they actually are offering a service that that some sites are adopting where you can essentially buy insurance. Um, so you can lock in that price that you see. For seven days, and uh, and they dynamically price it depending on how volatile they think it's going to be. So they're essentially predicting where the fare is going to go, uh, and uh, and doing it pretty well. So do all of these sites pretty much work the same way? Are the algorithms secret? I mean, how do they get their information? Yeah, they're each developing their own. Uh, they, you can you can get fare information um, from multiple sources. Um, uh, Hopper, for example, has has fares for the last couple of years from from every airline in the world, uh, and and what you do is it's it's machine learning essentially um, uh, developing a computer program that will learn airline habits. Um, you mm -hmm. feed into it economic conditions as well, uh, and so you you're making a forecast. It's it's not dissimilar from what airlines themselves are doing. So in a sense, they're sort of replicating. Uh, airline pricing systems um, to say, you know, uh, demand is heavy on that route. Um, prices are high. They're probably not going to go lower or demand is really light on that route. Um, historically, over the last however many years, um, this is what we've seen prices do. Uh, you track it 70 days before departure, 40 days before departure, and you come up with a pretty good idea. All right. So they're, they're aggregating kind of past, they're aggregating past flight prices, correct? Past flight prices along with current economic conditions right. and, and patterns of airline behavior. Okay, great. Now tell us about your experiences, Scott. You tested Hopper and Kayak on 10 trips. Is that right? Yeah, so I, I picked uh, five busy routes. I um, uh, looked at them over the Christmas holiday, December 23rd to December 30th, and then looked at January 23rd to 30th um, for a sort of off-peak seasonal trip that was uh, farther out. Um, and it was interesting. So 10, 10 trips all together. Hopper was actually correct on eight out of the 10. Um, there were there was a variety of wait or buy recommendations um, on, on most of the buy recommendations. Uh, the price indeed did go go higher after mm -hmm. I had initially looked on on some of the weight recommendations. Um, it was quite interesting. The price did come down sometimes um, uh, twice in the same day. Uh, and, and Hopper was very good at saying, hey, that price is better, um, but we think it's, it's going to get better still. And, uh, and then they were right. And the price went down about $100. And they said, OK, this is it. Bye. I love it. So 8 out of 10, that sounds pretty good. Scott, what do you think? You're going to keep using these sites? Yeah, I think so. I think uh, particularly for leisure travelers who have some time ahead, uh, it gives you confidence to know, um, is it a good price or, or not? Um, Kayak, I should say, they, they have uh, data predictions on 70% of their routes. Um, they were they were um, on nine of the routes that I looked at, and uh, and they were right on six out of nine. Now, sometimes they disagreed with each other, um, but um, uh, that was that was rare. Uh, in general, um, kayak was uh, also pretty accurate. Hey, that's not bad. Still a lot better than buying blind. So thank you so much, Scott McCartney, for that. Sure, good to be with you.